Alrighty guys, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys a really cool way to get the largest or smallest elements from a list or set. And if you guys are like, oh my god, this is like beginner stuff. I already know. I'm just going to have a list. I'm going to sort it. And then I'll get like the last three elements or the first three, depending on how I sorted it. But the question is, what happens if you have like a custom object? Like what happens if you has have a employee class and they have ID numbers and names and I don't know, like their profession and their salary and you need to sort them all by salary or ID number. How the heck do you do that? Well, welcome to heap Q. So heap Q is essentially just a special type of heap Q algorithm and it just allows you to sort stuff really easily. I'm going to show you guys a cool tricks, but before let's just go ahead and use it to sort something really easy. So I'm gonna pretend that I have a list of grades. Let me just type in like a, we'll say that we yet can have grades more than 100. So I'll do like 132, 66, 99, and five, whatever. All right, so I have a bunch of random numbers in there. And say that I wanna get like the, uh, the three highest grades. Maybe I'm a teacher and I'm gonna take the three highest grades from every student and average them together, whatever. So what we can do is this. We can use heap Q and we can just say N largest. So this allows you to get the certain number of largest items. So if you only want the biggest one, you can just type one. If you want the three biggest ones, then just type three right there. And the other parameter that it takes is just what is data set that you're trying to find. So grades. So what we're saying is look in grades and give me the three largest values run and boom so it orders it nicely for you so 654 532 and 132 all right pretty cool but you know we could probably have done that earlier i mean we already know how like the sort list and we can just get like the first three elements ourselves so nothing special so the question becomes why is this useful well let's say that we had a data set like this hold on hold on copying it all right, so I just copied that. I had it, so you know, I didn't think you guys should watch me type all this. So, this is pretty much a list of dictionaries. Now, even though this is just a list of dictionaries, you can actually use this method on your own custom class. So, if you had a class of like NHL players or your friends or anything, so it's going to work the same. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little data set for this tutorial. So what we're going to do in this case is let's say that we wanted to get, what am I going to try to find? I don't know. Maybe I was buying stocks and I wanted to find the two cheapest stocks. So of course, right now we can see that those are F and this is actually Ford and this tuna is actually a company I made up. So Apple, Google, Ford, Microsoft, and tuna. But let's say that we had like a thousand and we wanted to find the cheapest ones. So what we could do is this print heap Q just like before. And anytime you want the smallest, let's say we want the two smallest, you use n smallest. And of course, the first one is how many values do we want? Just the two. And the second one is, of course, what is the data set that you're trying to have me sift through? Well, just these stocks right here. But now, check this out. So these elements right here, they don't just have one value like a list. They have a ticker, they have a price, Maybe they have an ID number. Maybe they have like a date in them for some reason, whatever. So this is only going to work with a simple data set. However, if you want to sort by price, then you can actually add the attribute is the last thing. So we already know how lambdas work, right? I think I made a tutorial about those. So what we're going to do is we're going to say lambda, make a really quick compact function. And for each stock, just give me the stock price. Now again, you can put ticker in here, you can put price, you can put any attribute for your object or whatever set you're trying to sift through and check this out. Boom, roasted. So it returns, this is actually from before, right here. But this returns Ford and Tuna. So how freaking awesome is that? If you guys ever tried to sort your own custom classes or objects, it was probably a pain in the butt, but boom, roasted, there you go. 
So again, whenever you're using a simple set, you can use just two parameters. Whenever you're using your own custom objects or a more complex set like this, whether it's JSON or your own custom one or your classes or whatever, do this, boom, roasted. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.